Welcome to Mike's Place, Miata Mecca. My name is Mike, and I'm the king of Miatas. Hey, your name might be on the title. It might be parked in your garage, but I'm the owner because I'm the king of Miatas. Hey, today we're going to take a look at the replacement of the plastic window of this 1997 Mazda Miata. The, this car belongs to uh, a gal, and it's well taken care of, and the plastic window has never been replaced. It's a 97, so over the years, the window has yellowed with age, and of course the sun. Now the window, the plastic window, is actually in a part of the top called the apron. The apron is actually, this is the main top here, and the apron is under the main top and wraps around and, and is, is connected with the ring rails, the supports for the ring rails in here. So what we're going to do to replace this plastic window, we're going to remove the apron from the car. That means we're going to remove the ring rail and pull the top out. We're going to go over that. And then we're going to take the apron to the upholstery shop and have a new plastic window sewn into the apron. And then we're going to put it back in the car. Now the first step is we need to make some room in the car. We're going to need to take the passenger seat out of the car so we can work on this in this package shelf and remove that rain rail and the apron from the car. Hey, let's get started. Once we have the four bolts undone on the seat rails that hold the seat in place, and on this 97, there's also a, a rail for the seat belt buckle that's attached to the tunnel. And take out that fifth bolt, then we can remove the seat from the car. The next thing we want to do is actually tilt the seat backwards and take a look and see if it has seat speakers and disconnect any connections. Let's take a look at that. Does have seat speakers, it's an M edition car. Now we're going to take the seat out of the car and make room so we can work in the back. Next step is we're going to put the top down and it has a support rail in the back. The actual structure back here, we're going to remove that also so we can work on the package shelf. Visor down. You don't want to damage the plastic window when we release the top, put the top down. So we're going to put a roll in here, uh, actually a, a hard cardboard roll with a towel on it, so we don't crease the top or damage the window when we put the top down. This is that we're using the shop, is just a hard cardboard uh, roll with a towel wrapped around it. We're going to put that right in here in the window. We're going to put that right here. And when we put the top down, it allows to put the top down without creasing the window. Now, if you have a problem with a zipper on your window, what you can do is use maybe a swim noodle. So when you put down the top, you don't have to unzip it. You put the swim noodle in there and then fold it and so it won't crease the top. Hey, let's take a look and see how that looks now in here so you can have a better understanding. So now you can see that protective cardboard in there with the towel on it and how the top folded down and it didn't crease the window. Now a lot of the tops that we have now, the zipperless tops with plastic windows, you're going to use, need to use a something, a device like this, a swim noodle or a towel, so you don't crease that window. The more you crease the window, the more your vision will be obstructed and it damage the window and eventually break. Our next step is going to be to remove this cockpit brace. You can see it runs from seat belt tower to seat belt tower across here. So we're going to remove that brace next. To remove the cover on the cockpit brace, what I do is actually put a screwdriver through here and there's a clip. So I can push on the clip and release it. Once I release the clip one side, then it generally just comes right off. And that exposes the bolt that holds it in place. We'll do the other side and then we'll remove both these bolts and remove the brace from the car. So let's remove the brace from the car. We're going to pick it up, take it out of place, and remove the brace and set it off to the side. My next step before I put the top back up, there's two plastic clips in here on the rain rail. We're going to remove these two clips and then we're going to put the top up. What I've done is I'm going to carry a little box in here to catch all my little small parts, nuts and bolts and the little clips. 
We're going to use this fork tool to remove that clip that's right in here, actually right in here on the rain rail. It's the most forward clip. It actually holds this uh, corner stay in also in place. We remove those clip on both sides and use this fork tool. So the top is back up. Now we're going to crawl into the car and we've made room for ourselves so we can sit in here. We've got our box and some tools and we're going to start taking the uh, apron out of the car. Let's take a look inside and see what we have to do. We have 13 of these trim buttons in this car. It's a tan trim button. 13 of these buttons to remove. And then once we remove their, those, we'll remove the three rain rail fasteners, the, the pieces that hold the rain rails in. We'll remove those. There's a left and a right and a center, and they're all unique. And there's 13 bolts that hold those into place. So our next step is to remove all that. You can see that I've got the fork tool actually under the the plastic snap, you know, the retainer there. So I'm going to actually use that to pull it loose. And I'm going to go all the way across. Now that I have all the plastic retainers removed, I can pull the carpet back and that exposes the 13 nuts that are holding the, uh, the supports for the rain rail in. So that's our next step to remove those 13 nuts. Okay. So now we're just going to remove the brackets, pull them loose. There we go, there's one. Let's pull that center one loose. Get that center one loose. We're just going to drop the center one in right behind the carpet here and leave it there. There we go. And then we have the right side. Let's pull that one loose too. There we go. So we have all three rain rail retainers loose now. Now we're going to go outside the car and pull the rain rail loose from the studs. Now that we have the rain rail loose from the studs on the car, we're going to cover the trunk area with a blanket. We're going to re actually have to bring the top up. And then what we're going to do is remove the... Uh, We'll unzip the zipper and we'll be able to remove some of that. There's two uh, rivets here that are holding the apron in place to the main tire. Let's spread that blanket out. into my electric drill and I'm going to drill the rivets. I'm going to start on the rivets here. I'm going to take a rivet and I'm going to drill it right here. I'm going to go through the, I'm going to go through the every rivet and then pop them all out. I'm going to remove all the rivets and remove the rain rail from the car. Once we have all the rivets drilled out we can actually take the rain rail out of the car. Take the rain rail out, roll it up and set it off to the side. And now we can see we're getting down to the apron itself. There's two main rivets where the main tap attaches to the apron itself. So we're going to remove these. Now on these what I use is I use a die grinder and I cut the head off, the, off this rivet here. It seems to be a brass rivet. Yeah, I have my grinder, high-speed grinder set up with a cutoff wheel. And I'm just going to go after the head of the rivet and thin it out. Give it a little chance to cool off. Once I get it pretty thin, I'm going to do is just pull it off. So now I have the rivet undone. I'll do the other side next. And then we're going to work on removing the zipper, the clips to hold the zipper. Pull back the main top and expose the back side of the zipper. You can see the back side of the zipper right here. Now what we want to do is we want to mark the zipper where the zipper actually zips together. 
because how we put back the zipper, how we redo the zipper when we put it back together, centers the window. We want to put it back the same way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of white out, and I'm going to mark the inside of the zipper here. I'm just going to put a little white spot right across it. That, I, that way I know how to time the zipper to put it back to correctly. Now each end of the zipper has a little clip in it, a little tooth clip that bends over and locks the zipper into place. You can kind of see it right here. So what I use is I'm going to just use my regular pocket knife and I'm going to open up the teeth on the lock and release this clip that's holding the zipper together. You can see there, there's one of the teeth. There it is. See that? There's another. And another. Get under here. Pull that out. And then we have the clip out. We're going to do the same to the other side and then we'll unzip the window and remove the apron and send it out to the shop. What we can do next is actually we're going to get it back in the car and just unzip, unzip the window. Come on. All the way across. Once we unzip the window all the way, we'll have the zipper part in our hand. We'll set that aside also. Now we can take the apron out of the car and send it to the shop. Now here we go. Here comes the apron. Our next step is going to be to take the apron over to the upholsterer and have the window replaced. And while that's being done, we're going to clean out the rain rails and clean out the gutters in this and prepare the car for the new window with the apron to be installed. The step is going to be to clean out the catch tray and the drains for the rain rail. Let's take a look and see where they are. They're right behind the seat belt towers. You can see them right in here. Let's see if we can get a, a good look at it. Right in here. I don't know if we can actually see where my finger is. You can see here, here's the corner of the top and here's the seat belt. And right down here is the black tray and the drain hole. The drain hole. What we're going to do is we're going to use an air blower to blow the, the drain tubes clear. And then we're going to blow out behind here, behind the carpet. We're going to clean out behind the carpet. Now I've set the rails out here. Here's our blower, our long tip blower. And the rails are here. Now the rails, if they're in bad shape, they should be painted. These are in pretty good shape, so we'll just clean them up and put them back on. We have the drains for the rain rail cleared out, the car vacuumed and cleaned. And this gives you, when we do a job like this, this gives us an opportunity to take care of that kind of business. We have the apron back from the upholstery shop, and we have the new window sewed into it. We have a piece of paper taped into the back to protect it when we put it into place. And my next step is going to be to lube the zipper. To lube the zipper, what we're going to do is we're going to take a conventional candle, wax candle, and we're just going to run it up and down the zipper. And what does that does is lube the zipper. So we're just going to run that up and down the zipper. We're also going to go to the other side of the zipper inside the car and lube it. We'll take care of that right now. Now we're going to set the rear window, the apron, back into place and we're going to install the zipper. 
When we do that, we're going to time the zipper because we put the we we'll use that white out to mark the zipper in location. We're going to straighten these little retainers, these clips out. You can see they're all bent, so we'll straighten those out so we can reuse them. And there's our candle that we use to wax up that zipper. What we're going to do now is actually lay the window into place and start the zipper over on the driver's side on the left side. We have the zipper started, and you can see where the white marks are. We have the white marks lined up. And then I clock the spring, the zipper in correctly, and center the root, the window as it was. You can see here that I brought the zipper all the way over here to the passenger side, the right side. Now I'm going to put this locking clip in place here. So it comes. I'm going to actually reach through. Once I have the clasp into place and the thongs are st sticking out, then I can use pliers to squeeze it over, bend them over a little bit, catch the sides, and bend it flat. And that's in place. And you can see that zipper, it's tied into place. Now I'll repeat on the other side. Our next step is going to be to install the rain rail. So we're going to fit the rain rail into place. And you can see how it's going to go. Pull this carpet back a little bit. We're going to fit it between the carpet and the body of the car. And get it all locked into place. Then we'll put the three metal retainers. We'll lie this retainer back inside the carpet so it's inside between in the bottom of the carpet. So we lift it up and put it in the place where we need it. Green rails in place. It's over the studs. And we also have that, that center retainer here behind the carpet. So it's right there. Another important thing is we have to have this drip molding. The drip molding here so we can have the drip molding, the rain rail has to be pushed farther, far enough back that the drip molding is in front of it. That's going to be an important step. The next step is to rivet the apron back to the main top. Remember those are the brass rivets, the last two rivets that we cut out. So what I'm going to use here is I'm going to use a rivet and a backup washer. And to find the place where it goes, you can time it. There's two studs that are close together, and that's where this left side rail goes and the center rail goes. And these two slots go together, so you can time it by putting those two together, and then you can see where the rivet's going to go. It's going to go through here, right through here, and then I'm going to use that backup wash for strength. Now we have that riveted in place there. Now we'll do the same with the other side. And we're getting ready to go back inside. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up the rain rail and then slide the apron and the main top back into place over the studs. And then close up the rain rail and put all, all the 13 nuts on loose. And we'll come back out and I'll show you the trick with this. You can see what I've done here. I've put a roll of uh, paper towels and have the the top kind of open a little bit. You can see how open it is right now. And that allows me some slack in the back when I go to put that apron and the top back on the studs. 
You can see what I've done now. I have the the apron. The apron is now sandwiched between the rain rail and the main top as it comes around. Have all the nuts on the studs loose. When you put in the retainers, you put in the center retainer first. Then I do the left and the right. So the center retainer goes in Next first. Next step is going to use a radiator hose tool to pull that rubber strip out between them. We're going to pull the strip and, and make it come out this way so that water won't go down this way. That, that the weather strip, this bead molding has a weather strip on it. We're going to pull it out and make it come up against the top this way. You can see how that tool is going to just pull that weather strip and we'll work it all the way across. So that weather strip is pulled all the way out. That way that water can't run down there. It has to run over to the sides and then down the, the drains. Once we have that weather strip pulled all the way around the whole back of the car, We're going to go inside and we're going to tighten the retainer hex nuts according to this schedule. We've got our rain rail retainers tightened up in sequence. We've got those two buttons, the retainers on the uh, rain rail in the front put back in. We've got our cockpit brace back in. We've got our seat back in. We've got our new window in. Looks great. We're ready to deliver this car. Hey, thanks a lot for watching this video, and we'll see you around the next time.